Hello, it's Keith from Kinvert. I'm gonna go over another condition under which an inequality needs to swap the direction. Um, so let's look at negative two x is greater than or equal to two, right? And how are we gonna solve for x? Well, the initial thing that you wanna do is just divide both sides by negative two. That was not a negative there on accident, negative two. And what are we left with here? We're going to end up with x is something, right? Um, and then we've got what here? Negative 1. Now, here's the important thing. With this type of operation, you need to swap the direction because you multiplied or divided by a negative. So now we get negative 1. And so we end up with an inequality that's going to look like this. These are the possible x values. Now, if you're looking at this initially, it looks like it'd be somewhere over here, but if you think about this, it's negative x that makes this possible. So the first number that's going to work is basically negative 1, right? Negative 1 times negative 2 is going to be 2, and that is equal to 2. And then if you go to, say, negative 3, negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. That is greater than 2. Right, so it's imp important to try to do some of these in your head if it's a short one like this. But remember, if you are multiplying by a negative, or if you are dividing by a negative, you need to swap the sign of your inequality. So a greater than needs to go to a less than, a less than needs to go to a greater than, whenever you are multiplying or dividing by a negative. This is Keith from Kinvert. We went over another condition where you need to swap the direction of your inequality, and that is if you are multiplying or dividing by a negative. We're going to end up putting this in our calculus, no, not calculus, pre-calc and algebra courses that we're putting online. I hope you found this helpful, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.